All right, so it's pretty much the second official full day of practice that I'm gonna have, and we're still at the hotel. It's like almost 10 o'clock. Got daylight at pretty much seven. I tried to leave at seven, got out here, and realized that we tripped a breaker on the power cord everybody was using. There's like a long power cord that stretches across that everybody's plugged into. <clears throat> I should have known better as soon as I saw that. Oh, I should have known that three or four big boats like mine with us that size battery chargers would trip a breaker on that, but I still plug it into it. Oh well, that's my fault. But the batteries did not charge. As you can see right here, this one's still on 30%. This one's full now. This one's on 70, so we're gonna go give it a whirl anyways. Um, gotta go at some point. It's 10 o'clock, we're just gonna kinda be easy on the motor, go slow, look around a lot. I'll try to find something though, it's tough. We're gonna try to find something. That's probably gonna be my one bass of the day. First day I caught one, yesterday I caught one, today I've caught one. Probably gonna catch more, but that might be the only freaking one. Still too small though. Fourth short fish of the trip. But that's the third bite of the day. <clears throat> Alright, we make a progress. Today so far we've had two bites. Call like a 11 incher, then I just lost one. It's like probably a keeper. Maybe a keeper. 14 or 15 incher. But it doesn't matter if he's a keeper today. I'm just glad that we got two bites this early in the day. It's only been we've only been out here like an hour. And the last way caught on my little Kitex swim bait. So if I can throw that sucker around, catch me five keepers on it would be good. That's that's the plan for this clear water anyway. Just throw a little contact around these docks. They eat that sucker. First keeper bite of practice is a freaking big one, dude. Oh my goodness, at the gizzard chat in his throat. Open. Six pounder. Can you see that down his throat? Can you see that that tail in there? Oh my goodness, man! I'm gonna weigh this sucker. Six pounder, even. First keeper bite of practice. First one. Look at that thing. That's so cool. I need one of them in the tournament. Any guesses what that is over there? Well, I'll tell you. That's the Kentucky State Corrections facility. I guess that's the prison. 
looks pretty cool from this far away. I bet it looks a lot worse from the inside, but it actually looks like a uh, like English college or something, like what they look like on the movies, anyways. Or maybe like even maybe some Ivy League schools in America. I've never been to any of those, so I don't know what they actually look like. But we drove here to Barkley. That's why that's where that is on Lake Barkley now. Gonna get out here in this main river, crank some, get get in some creeks, try to flip a little, fish a little bit of docks and stuff. Same old stuff, just a new area, anyway. So. Hey, we'll catch us a big one over here. This is Lake Barkley. I, I fished Barkley before and Kentucky Lake before, but I actually did okay on Barkley. So try to do that again. Check it out. We're finally up before daylight. I've been out, I've been slacking big time this practice time, but today we're finally gonna wake up. We're gonna drive actually an hour in the truck all the way down to Paris from Moore's Marine Resort, and we're gonna fish there today. I can't even catch them up here, so I gotta go down there. Or something. I went, that's where I went the first day for two hours. Didn't catch them, but the wind was terrible, so I didn't get to fish the main lake. So we're going back down there today. We're gonna do the same thing. Let's go get it started. Look at there. He's still not a keeper though. Well, he might be. He's real, real close. Got a bite early then. That's a big deal for me. I ain't had a bite early in a long time. All right, so from our hotel room this morning, we had to drive one hour and one minute to get to a boat ramp. We're staying at Moore's Marina, which is where we are launching from for the tournament. But I put in today at Paris Landing, which is, I don't know exactly, probably 40 or 45 miles. But just the roads we have to take, it takes you like an hour to get there. So that's what we're doing now. We're down here. I caught one quick. I've only been fishing now. It took probably about, I don't know, an hour now. And maybe less than an hour. And I caught one that was right on the borderline of being a keeper. So good news for us. We might have caught a keeper early. Island across a big flat now. We'll get on the... Uh, little channel that's away from the river channel I'm gonna skip some of these main river docks and see if we can't figure something out I'll skip so many docks man I'm tired of it and they're not biting there but there's nothing else to do like I, I'm gonna get out and graph in a little while I'm gonna get out and graph in the mouth of big sand and see if I can find some out there but right now try to grind it out all right so you can hardly tell it because of where I live now but there's been very very few days in my life where I went fishing without a frog tied on even in like December, January, there's always one tied on in my boat. Usually it's always on the front deck. Just cut it off to tie on this dude. Drastic times, drastic measures. So, I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Shed a little tear for the frog, not being tied on. There's been one in my boat all year. Haven't needed it, but it's been one in there for moral support anyways. I throw this big sucker around, see if we can't catch one on this big dude. All right, we're calling an audible. We are going to New Johnsonville. As dumb as that sounds, we're going. That is like 80 miles by water from the boat launch to where I'm going to practice. I've never um, thought about making a run that far before, but I can't catch a fish. So I'm gonna go up there and just see. I mean, everybody talks about it. It narrows up some. We're gonna see if I can catch some there. I don't know. I'll keep y'all updated. It's finally warm enough to put a hat on. 
instead of that dang beanie slash toboggan, depending on where you're from. Just put my finger in front of the camera. All right, we at New Johnsonville now. We hustling though. I found, I drove over a place that I really, really, really want to go hit. So we're gonna to try to fish, see if there's any fish biting here. And if they ain't, we're gonna get out of here fast, go back up to uh, Sandy Creek, put in, and try to make it somewhere that I found. So we'll see. And I forgot my camera. So anything that we do, I'm gonna just vlog it on here like a uh, phone vlogger, I guess. Caught us two already. Been here like an hour. Problem is, they're both small spots. One of them. I wouldn't mind actually having it's like a pound and a quarter little spot but I wouldn't mind having like three of them but anyways we're out here on a point now finna chuck around for a while